Well, hello and welcome from a slightly overcast and windy Rest Bay Port Call. So here I am at Rest Bay Port Core and the tide's in at the moment. What I'll do, I'll come back later and show you the beach when the tide's out. All this is sand. On well, next week, myself and Mel are going on a short cruise and we'll be sailing past this stretch of coastline on the way to Ireland. We're going on an ambassador cruise departing from Bristol. Although this is one of my favourite beaches, I'm not here for the views, and if I say Mel's going to be joining me shortly, that means one thing. Food involved. Yes, that's right. And we're not going to go for a pub lunch. We're actually going to go for breakfast. It's quite early in the morning. We're going to go for a Welsh breakfast. Well, a breakfast in Wales. I can't get over this weather. It's a couple of days before June and it's cold and windy. Anyway, back to the food. The first place we're going to try for breakfast is the aptly named Rest Bay Cafe Bar, which is there. So before the weather gets any worse, I'm going to go up to the cafe bar, get a table and wait for Mel. As you can see, this cafe has got a nice view. They have got a balcony as well, which is nice in the summer if we get one. Mel did say she'd join me for breakfast if I paid. <laughs> that was a mistake. So here it is, Rest Bay Cafe and Bar. Well, I'm just about to go in. The cafe's part of this building, the Rest Bay Water Sports Centre. It's got the cafe upstairs, surf rental, toilets, uh, a coffee kiosk and another place for kids and it's right next to Rest Bay Car Park. I am early. Mel hasn't arrived yet. The sign on the door says cafe open from 9am. I'm going to go in, grab a cup of coffee and wait for Mel. There is a lift, if you need one. They've got some old surfing posters from the 70s on the wall over there. So there's the balcony overlooking Rest Bay. No one's out there. Well, no one's brave enough at the moment. So they serve breakfast from 9 o'clock to 11.30. Coffee's arrived. And a chocolate. The coffee's not too bad. Chocolate, so that. While I'm waiting, I'll look at the menu. They've got the Rest Bay breakfast, regular large. I may go for the Eggs Benedict. While I'm waiting for Mel, I have been having a sneaky look at other people's breakfasts. And it does look quite nice. And if you're wondering where Sean is, Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. He's busy. <laughs> he normally turns up when there's food. I can see Mel coming now. She's coming down that path. I was going to go out to the balcony and shout down to her, but because of the wind, they closed the doors. The balcony's closed at the moment. There she is.
I tried to get out on the balcony. I saw you coming along the common. I was tracking you on the phone. Yeah. Hello. And I tried to go out, but the balcony's closed because it's okay. too windy. That was a good half an hour walk, Marcus. About 20 minutes. And I didn't know You've what to You've got little wear. legs. I didn't, well, I've got little legs. Well, it it's funny raining. weather, isn't it? Yeah, the sun comes out. It was it's quite warm. It was like... But I, you said it might rain, so I bought an yeah. umbrella and a coat with a light coat for the hoods. You said you were going to pay. You I never am. pay. I, am. I said outside I'm going to pay. Oh, that's exciting. What do you have in there? I'm going to have the Eggs Benedict with crispy bacon. Oh, does that mean I have to have a breakfast then? Yeah, You're we can share. Me. We, can, we can share. No sharing breakfast. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, what drink do you want? I don't normally have a big breakfast in the morning unless I'm on a cruise ship. Um, I will have... Something like an apple juice or something. Okay. You're paying, you're paying for me? Yeah. Caviar, all the way, champagne. They, they have got a license, haven't they? Yeah. So you could have champagne. They're open until the evening. Okay. It's a bit early for us at the moment, but there's the price of the, the beer. £5.50 for a pint of lager. A bottle of Peroni is £4.50. You don't want lager with your breakfast, do you? It's not a weather spoons. <laughs> no. Mel can relax now. It's Heinz. Yes. Happy? I am happy. Standard apple juice, which is, is nice enough. Yeah. Um, do they have county apple juice or anything? I don't know. There's a choice of drinks. They do have a licensed bar here. Yeah, they're usually pretty good on all the types of drinks yeah. they've got. But Marcus is a cheapskate, so he's holding me the cheapest one he can find. <laughs> There's one thing you have to bear in mind here. Mm. is the fruit cup hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fruit cup. That means they stop serving breakfast at half past 11, but they don't start serving the other hot food until what time? Half 12. Half 12. So there's an hour of not much. I think you can get... We call it fruit cup. You can get it like... From the Mel Brooks film. Dinner is served promptly at 8 in the private dining room. Those who are tardy do not get fruit cup. So it says tomatoes on the menu now. I'm a fan of tinned tomatoes with breakfast. So nice. Yeah, but probably be grilled. Do you reckon it'd be grilled tomatoes or tinned? Yeah, I tend to mm. do that. It's a bit posher, but it's not as nice. No, no. It needs to be tinned. I think it does. Are you are you a fan of tomatoes on your breakfast, viewers, or not? Are you a tinned tomatoes person? Or are you a grilled tomato person? Are you a no tomatoes person? Now our food's coming. Oh, good. Oh, are you hungry? Okay. The full breakfast. breakfast, yeah, yes. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, oh, it's real tomatoes. Two tomatoes have been just preferable, but that's just me. Looks nice though. The bacon is crispy. They got good quality bacon. I'm putting the, the sauce on and Marcus wants me to have a chat. So I go one hand on the yeah, sauce. It's a decent product, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Ooh, it does look good. Can I can I eat it now? Yes. Okay, thank you. And there's mine. That's nice. Well, I'm going to get on and eat it now because it's getting cold. We'll get back to you very shortly. It's nice. Not too vinegary. You know, sometimes you get a hollandaise sauce. I don't like hollandaise sauce, Jamie. Mm. Oh, it's quite nice hollandaise sauce. Cutting into my fried egg. Mm. Good. Yeah. It's not snotty, it's just right. It's not snotty, that's a good description. <laughs> nice baked beans. I like the way they've done the mushrooms. Yeah. Mmm. They're nice. Let's have a look at the sausage gem. Now, personally, I think that's a little bit pale for Marcus, but it's perfectly fine for me. Oh, it's got a bit of a snap. Mm. Is that a good sausage? Good quality sausage. Like a butcher's sausage, not too herby. I'm not a big fan of herby sausages, but it's not a cheap sausage, it's a good sausage. I'll let you get on in peace. Mm. One muffin down, one to go. Are you like a good muffin? Oh, this is. Mel choking on a bit of bacon. Good quality bacon. 
nice and thick. If you missed that, Mel's commenting, the bacon's good quality, nice and thick. Like me. Like my husband. Mm. Nice breakfast. I'm enjoying. You've left a big slice of bacon there. Yeah. Saving it for last. Saving it for last, it's Miss Enders. Well, I finished. It was nice, but very rich. So I think I don't want to push myself. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon was nice, it was crispy. Wow, that was quite filling. That's perfectly big enough if you're wondering whether to have a standard or a large breakfast. The standard is perfectly big enough, I think. Look, she's hiding a tomato. I did eat two. Bring back tin tomatoes. <laughs> and look, they've got HP sauce. If you're a fan of HP, I, I prefer the tomato ketchup myself, but I will have that sometimes on sausage. So that was breakfast at the Rest Bay Cafe and Bar. Yep. Did you enjoy? I did. I did. Thumbs up for me. I think yeah. Good quality produce. It was good quality. I mean, only personal preference, tin tomato scrambled egg, which you didn't offer. However, that's just me. And the eggs benedicts with crispy bacon. I didn't finish it because it was very mm -hmm. rich. That's my That's an eggs benedict <coughs> for you, isn't it? Yeah, eggs benedict aren't quite rich. I yeah. think the quality of the food, for what you, for, for what you pay, and with this view as well. Yeah. You have to, you know, think about where you are. Sean missed out. He did miss he out. He missed out on miss the out. breakfast. So I would say and I was paying Sean. I paid. <laughs> I know. And that's so unusual. So a big thumbs up for me. I really enjoyed it. And remember to like and subscribe. And <coughs> if you want to find out what's going on behind the scenes Ooh. and join Fly Drive Explore, become can, one of our community. Can I join? Uh, you're already in it. Compulsory oh, okay. for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Our patron is starting very, very soon. It is, and you can see... Oh, by the way, at the, I say to him. at the start, I said yeah, I would come up again and show you Rest Bay when the tide was out. And here are those shots coming up now. So until next time, Goodbye. enjoy the view. Bye. Mm -hmm.